So what would you say in conclusion, right? I can, and first let me summarize what I hear from you and, and what I feel um, is so important for people to hear is number one, recognize that the government, your boss and nobody can or will take care of you. And if you want freedom, if you want um, to have less stress in your life and you want more independence, it's worth considering not only number one, taking responsibility, but number two, considering maybe pulling out a pen and pad and instead of overcomplicating a business, if you aren't in one, just pull one out and write out 10 ideas to make more money and see which ones you can start with. And instead of overcomplicating, maybe just say, my first goal is to make an extra $500 a month or an extra $1,000 a month and just start really small like that. And if you can just begin there without overcomplicating everything, without trying to overstudy, without trying to look too far in the future, one, you're going to learn a whole bunch uh, uh, along the way. Two, that one idea may not last 12 months, but it may lead you to the next idea. And now the new entrepreneurial understanding that aids you in starting the real business that you do. And it's important right now for everybody to consider getting into to an entrepreneurial framework and you can simply start it by pulling out a pen and pad and 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 writing down ideas now this brings you into i think like the next phase that uh like the next level and that's like all about taxes and investment and things like i didn't really realize it like i said until it was too late in the year and then i realized my tax bill now had a lot more zeros than the year before and i was like wow i'm stupid and so it's it pushing yourself into the entrepreneurial place also helps you understand the next phase uh, of taxes and and whatnot one, do you think that's an accurate summarization? And two, is there anything I missed in conclusion that'd be a valuable uh, takeaway for someone? Um, uh, no, you didn't miss anything. And ah. that's, right. that's, how, about, that's how we grow. You know, you're out there, you're doing it. Every day you're doing it in the world of entrepreneurship. I, I say entrepreneurship is the fast track to personal development because every day something comes up and you're, you're, it's right, like right in your face and you deal with it. Problems come up and you got to deal with how to overcome them. And you're, you know, we have a team now, a very good team of experts around us, but we didn't always have that team. The beginning, all we had was a bookkeeper and, and you should have a bookkeeper no matter what, how small your business is, you should have somebody outside of yourself and your spouse who is at least once a month, maybe just looking at your numbers because it's very easy to lie to yourself about how much you have coming in and how much you have going out. Um, but the other point I wanted to make is, um, yes, nobody's going to take care of your money like you are. Nobody's going to take care of you and, and take, you know, give you the, the job you want and the money you want. The government's not going to take care of you. But there's one other thing in, um, in talking about this entrepreneurial mind um, book called The Cash Flow and talks about the different minds. So, for example, this would this could be something really fun for people to do today because so many people are at home. Um, like the, right before I came on here, Jake, uh, my company, um, there's there's 10 of us right now. We're all, all on a Zoom call and we have problems. And it's like, okay, here's the problem. How can we address it? And it's like, it's fun and it's creative. And you go, what about this? What about this? What? And there's no such thing as a stupid idea. What about this? Can we do this? Can we do this? And, and Nine out of 10 times within 10, 15 minutes, we've solved it because of the team. So why not, if you're thinking about starting a business and let's say the goal is $200 a month, get on a call with two or three of your friends, do it over a glass of wine if you want, and say, hey, let's talk about what we could do, not necessarily together, but maybe together, or what, let's talk about what different things we could each do to make money for ourselves and maybe start a part-time business. And make it a fun, it's a fun thing. Entrepreneurship is a lot of fun. And one thing you do have to have is you do have to be, you do have to persevere and you do have to be resilient. And I think you also have to be optimistic. Um, somebody said the, the keys to longevity, they were studying, they did the study of these centenarians, people that lived over a hundred years and they wanted to find the common denominators and they found three. And first thing is the purpose. 
So if looking at starting, you know, a part-time or just looking to make some extra money coming in, every, what's the, what would be the purpose for it? Why do you want to do that? Really, not just to make money, but why else do you really want to do that? What's the sense of purpose for you? Is it, you know, maybe to make sure that your family is safe and secure? What is that purpose? Number two is they're optimistic. They always have a sense of optimism. But number three, the key was resiliency, how well you come back from a setback. And so I'll say it again, a lot of us are facing a setback right now. And we can come out of this, use this time to learn, to, to find new ideas, to maybe start a part-time business, to start looking at different investments, to go out there and buy that one ounce silver coin. You know, you can do that or you can wait for the government to send you your check. And just know, just know, if that's your plan, if your plan is to get a government check, then there's going to be a price to pay. And that price to pay is typically your spirit and your soul because you know you quit. When you start depending on the government to take care of you, you know in your heart and soul that you've quit. So if you want your spirit to stay strong, you need to really get out there and do something different and do something new and take care of yourself because the most important thing you've got is that spirit and that spirit's got to remain strong through all this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I, you know, it's like there's so much happening, obviously, but I think one of the really good things down the road that's going to come out of this is I think it's going to rattle people's cages enough where, you know, they said 75% of people are actively disengaged from their jobs. They say that's what the Gallup poll had said. Well, shit, I mean, that might change and maybe it goes down to 25 all of a sudden because people, you're also faced with the fear of death, right? With like people are afraid, you know, the media has made people so afraid of even, I don't know if you've walked down your street, but when someone goes like this right out of the way to the other side of the street and this fear of death has also made us realize life is short and, and I think it's this perfect thing that's brewing for people to really... Uh, pursue freedom in their life because you realize life short and you realize, man, I can't stay at this thing that isn't even helping me financially either. I, I love that. And I would, I'm, I'm all for that. I would love to see these people get, I'd love to see people all over the world become so rattled. I, the word I heard the other day, and I heard it from two different people within an hour of each other is called, what is called reset. They, they're saying the intention, maybe this, maybe all of this is coming together for a positive thing, major reset in how the world operates. Because right now there's an awful lot of greed, a lot of power hungry people out there and they're doing things not for the right reason. So if, if this gets people riled up enough and makes them start questioning what's really going on and they start looking towards their own freedom, I mean, freedom, I think, I think we have the need we have as human beings is to be free. And uh, that's what I'm always all about. So I would love to see a very positive outcome come out of this. And I am all on board with what you're saying, Jake. Amen. So if this, if this interview speaks to you, this is a, out of all the many, many interviews that I've, I've conducted with a lot of amazing people lately, I'd say this one has been the most uh, practical and for you as a listener able to apply this watch this back through or go grab a, a glass of wine and watch sit with your friends. What's that? Or watch it with your friends on Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> and watch it and listen to it and, and, and actually pull out a pen and pad and write down, as, as Kim was saying, write down what are ways I can make an extra 200 or 300 and 500 a month and just start there and, and, and see if you can turn one of them into something long term. I'm, I'm with you. Let's Thank do that. Thank you so much. I yeah. sincerely Thanks. appreciate it. And we're really lucky to have people like the Rich Dad Company and, and you teaching people how to start to take control of their life. So we're, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. I, I appreciate you, Jake. And thank you for all that you're doing. And keep that message going out there strong. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Take care. Hey, thanks so much. I really sincerely appreciate it. And uh, it was great to see you again.